unusual natural phenomena occur in various countries. Thus, there was a major hurricane in Czech Republic, unprecedented heat and fire in Canada, flooding in southern Germany, in a way Germans had never dreamed of. A similar phenomenon was in Kerch, either. The volcano appeared and is only increasing in Iceland, which is generally considered a country of wild nature. Would it be correct to understand it as ongoing cleansing of space by the elements? For example, the Germans on their Earth really needed to cleanse their astral bodies from fears, accumulation, separation, which the gods, elements and water did. The Czechs needed to correct their mental bodies. Iceland had not enough fire, and therefore some egregore destroyed and implemented a new thought there. Anything is possible. In general, a chain is no stronger than its weakest link, and the elements will manifest themselves where they are strongest. You can see a certain pattern in this, or cannot see this pattern. Just understand that the elements cleanse the planet itself, the space itself. And this is, of course, certainly no coincidence. Don't forget that here in space, not only people are living, but also many others such as systems, gods, and non-humans, and everyone needs cleansing. When Ragnarok happened, it affected everyone, and not only the gods. All participated, humans, Jotuns, frost giants, Hell also led her allies out. Who was or wasn't guilty of what? Who cares if cleansing of the space is cleansing for all and everyone? Here the elements are shuddering, as if they are cleansing everything, humans and non-humans. They are cleansing everyone. The question is, who and how perceives it? The elements may help someone to go through personal Ragnarok, but they may kill someone else, on the contrary. Someone clings to each other and huddles together side by side, believing they will hold out together, not alone. These are also provocations, among other things, provocations of natural forces. People have been lying that nature is going to cause cataclysms for them for so long that it finally happened. People, in general, talk too much. And ultimately, everything happens exactly as they said it happened. Maybe it's time to stop talking and stay quiet for a while, in order to let the air cleanse itself a little, at least from that endless chatter. Maybe it's time to look around and see that you're not the only one who lives in this world. So stop talking non-stop and look around. This world is alive, and you don't even see it because of your chatter, your endless fulfillment of space by unclear information. Look around you. What are you doing with your life? Okay, you are unable to perceive nature. All you do is talk about saving nature. But in practice, it's just words. Look under your feet. Your baby is crawling down there. What were you thinking when you brought this child into this world? What kind of future have you held for your child? You know perfectly well that this world is a vile, unjust, dishonest place and you even had the decency to bring a child here. Maybe you should finally look at what you've done with your life and what you are trying to do with your child's life. In the name of what? A personal Ragnarok will be for everyone, and every person will answer for his actions, first and foremost, before his own I am, his own gods, his own soul. And one will probably pass a judgment on oneself that will define what world you deserve to live in. In a world of endless lies where no one is responsible for anyone, where people pay off the evil Judaic God with children, their own children, or maybe you're capable of anything, capable of taking responsibility for your actions, lifting the baby from the floor, putting him under your arm, figuring things out, and starting over to build a life where you are a professional.